Anthony Hancock. Uh-oh. Out to midfield and tripped up. Hancock with much running room and uh, with acceleration tripped up by Nathan Poole. It is a second down and five at the 40. And that's Billy Jackson. Big hole on the left side and picking up the first down. Two and four. Uh, contributing. Possibly. By Lowry. It is good. Three and a half left in this first quarter. Kansas City up 3-0. And Kenny to throw. Oh, beautiful reception. Carlos Carson. In Denver territory, down to the 45-yard line, Steve Wilson, the right quarterback, making the stop. Kenny being smothered. And let's see what they call this. Nope, it'll be a sack. The play was blown dead. And for the first time, we get a rise out of the crowd looking for the fumble and the Denver recovery. But the official called it a sack. Just under... 50, running to Anthony Hancock. Look out. And recovered back in the end zone. Wade Manning of Denver had an excellent shot in the end zone to recover for the six, but could not come up with the football. In motion, bottled across. Dump ball for Preston. Dave Preston out near the 40 for first down and more. Back live, first down at the 41-yard line. Nice move by Gerald Wilhite. That's out of the uh, Marcus Allen playbook. Denver, third down and seven at the 44. Oh, intercepted. Eric Harris on the intercept. Eric Harris with Jim White to beat. Beautiful change of direction, and Harris for the touchdown. No flags. That counts. But here is DeBerg on first down. And almost picked off again on the deflection, but a penalty marker is down. The intended receiver was Steve Watson. That's on Kansas City. The Jets needed a victory, but fell short against Miami. And uh, here are the clubs tightly bunched. And uh, these are the clubs down the stretch battling it out. Denver, as we said, must win its final three. And Kansas City, although not mathematically eliminated, virtually playing it out. Here's Preston. Winder lined up behind Paris and takes it. Sammy Winder. And he has a first down. Well, that is the secondary for Kansas City. Third down and six. Lots of time. And the first down picked up by, yes, Dave Preston again. And a nine for Denver at the 13. Good pressure, and DeBerg is hauled down in his first half. This is Winder picking his way. Sammy Winder. It's a second and goal at the two. Here's Wilhite. Touchdown. Gerald Wilhite battling his way in. Oh. And he able to complete Al Dixon, the tight end. First down and much more. Again, stuttered at center. Rudney has been in and out of the lineup, but he has had a bad back. It is a third down and ten now. Kenny put down. 30. Uh oh. De Bruyne is back. Upchurch going all the way. No flags. Turn for a touchdown. They're going wild in Denver. Rick Upchurch has tied the NFL record most punt return touchdown. Tying a fellow by the name of Jack Christensen. Who used to be the head coach of the San Francisco 49ers, did he not? Right. 
Carlos, who missed the last extra point attempt, able to put one through, and Rick Upchurch causing this crowd to explode as the Denver Broncos take a 13-10 lead on Kansas City. Now, you know, the interesting thing, I believe De Bruin did exactly as Kansas City wanted, and that was to pin Upchurch in to one side of the field. But instead of going to the wide side of the field, he went right straight up the field, 78 yards on the return. And that ties the record held by Jack Christensen. How many touchdowns is that for him? That's eight touchdowns. And two this year by Rick Upchurch. Here's the last man to stop Rick Upchurch. That's an all-pro move. My goodness. It has been a very tough debut for the putter Case DeBron. Look out. That is sack number two for the Broncos. Randy Gratishaw. The ball is dead. Inbound. So we're up 13 to 10. Hancock at his five. Out to the 20. Hancock to the 40. Running by the Look kick. At this. Anthony Hancock with a sensational return. No flags whatsoever. Lined up to the right. Henry Marshall left. Looking for Marshall as Kenny. And then he went for the Flag tight down. end. Yes, sir. Al Dixon, the intended receiver. An interference call. Dennis Smith. Their feet seemed to catch. And the official uh, couldn't find his flag, but uh, the uh, contact was slight. But nevertheless, it was there. Crowd reacting to the defense. And Kenny putting it in the air. Touchdown. Al Dixon just did make the reception with his feet in bounds at the back of the end zone. There it appears. And Bill Kenny to throw with time. And it is picked off by Aaron Kyle. Aaron Kyle on the intercept. So Denver will take over now in Kansas City territory. Four. Four. Yes. Oh. Your dad told you that? He was there, was he? Third and one. And a first down picked up. It was a play. I'll grant you that. And uh, told me about a tight end by the name of Trumpy. Darrell Wilhite. Right near the first down mark. He tried to stretch it out a bit. Let's see where they spot it. For Kansas City. Well, Carlos gets it up. And right through. He is 10 for 10. 43-yard field goal. That's Carson Peeling. Kenny to throw. Looking for Carson. Carlos Carson. Pulled down by Dennis Smith. That's the time he gets. That's the most important thing. Now Kansas City keeps both backs in. Still pressure in his face, but he puts it right on the money in full stride. And a saving tackle by Dennis Smith. 51 yards. Running backs Jackson and had not. Marshall in motion. Oh, look at this. Tight end screen. Al Dixon. Beautiful play. It'll be first and goal for the Chiefs. And the kick is good. Such so lost the last four. Losing to the Raiders in the final seconds last week. Terrific catch by Henry Marshall. There's third down 10 for Kenny. Rifling it. Flag. What a yes, collision. Sir. Flag thrown. Stan Rome involved. He was the intended receiver, and he collided with J.T. Thomas. He was caught two for 77 yards. Flank to the right. This is Hadnot. Hadnot finding his way inside the... Fuller awaiting the snap. And make it three for three for Nick Lowry. 6.23 left, fourth quarter. Those weather problems really have not gotten the ball to their tight ends much at all. This is Will Height. Fumble. And Kansas. recovered by Kansas City here on NBC. Bill Kenny to throw deep. Oh, oh a spectacular <laughs> catch by Carlos Carson. Over. What a play. Carson beating Steve Wilson. 
to Ferg out of the shotgun. And it is picked off on the deflection. Gary Barbaro. With blocking. He's going to run it in. Gary Barbaro for the score. No flags. All right, one of the uh, up men. Keith Euclid. Bumble. And is it Kansas City again? Yes. Kansas City Chiefs defeating the Denver Broncos by the score of 37 to 16. A game that saw a series of explosive plays. Eric Harris with his return off the interception. Same for Gary Barbaro. The 78-yard punt return for a touchdown by Rick Upchurch. His eighth career punt return touchdown ties him with Jack Christensen for the NFL record.